hey lovelies and welcome back to the channel in today's video i honestly have to apologize to you guys because i know i haven't done one of these grocery haul videos in such a long time and i was scrolling through my camera roll and i realized that i still haven't put out this video i recorded this video sometime in september this was uh, september slash october um grocery haul and i still haven't put this video out i just kept procrastinating and forgetting to upload this video but you guys please forgive me i lost the receipt but altogether throughout this entire purchase for this month we spent about 260 pounds for the whole thing that we'll be buying in today's vlog but this is just going to give you an idea of what 260 pounds can get you for a family of four please do well to like share subscribe also do not forget to turn on your post notifications that way you get notified every single time i upload a new video which is at least once every week hello beautiful people and welcome back to yet another um family grocery haul video uh, i do this once every month now and i actually quite enjoy making these kind of videos because i know people are curious to find out what the price of food items are right now in the uk um so yeah today we have gone to two stores so far and the grocery haul that i'm going to be showing you now are from two stores and this is from a farm foods and the farmers market unfortunately we could not uh, purchase all the things we wanted to purchase at the farmers market because for some reason they were not open but when we spoke to someone who we saw around the area they said it's probably because of the cold weather so we had to make do with um, the covered market in Darlington I've shown you that place in one of my vlogs so I'm just going to go straight into the unboxing of this session we might be going out again very soon but for now this is what we have and let me just let's just go ahead and i'll show you some of the things that we bought all right so we're starting with this um packs of um natural days and this is their cranberry i like having this in my oats this is also their banana chips and i got two packs of that close to that we have some salted peanuts and we have two packs of that as well over here we have um, four crates of 10 packs um, of medium-sized eggs so we have four crates of these then we have um, two tubes of tomato paste we also have um, one of this the ketchup this is hens we also have um, we also picked up one jar of um, chocolate spread and one jar of hot chocolate for the boys uh, we have a five pack tuna chunks this is for soup stews and you know other things all right so this month we did not buy all the ceremony cereal because someone left a very useful comment in my last video and we decided to go with that advice besides that too much sugar and getting children hooked up on you know cereal and all of that is not really good for them so we are getting them back on wheat bix they you have been eating this from south africa but we haven't kept up with it so we are going back to that right now um for the boys just for a more healthier option and just to give them the best start you know for their diets all right, so we've got one box of that with Bix, and there's 36 pieces in that one box, so that should take them a long way. We also bought a can, um, six packs can of beans. We got two tubs of Ben and Jerry's um, ice cream. I know the cold weather season is going, but this is still an essential in some cases. We got two packs of the fish fillets, and there's 26 in one pack. So this should take the boys and, well, everybody. It should take us all a long way. We have this with chips. All, sometimes we also have them with um, noodles and things like that. So we got two packs of that. Also, we got um, one box of the magnum white chocolate and then there's four sticks of that in there we got two packs of this french fries this is 1.9 kg and this thing lasts this this can we can have like four meals from this from this one pack 
for all of us. So we got two packs of that. And then we have uh, the breaded chicken burgers. We put this in bread. The boys also like to eat this with chips and noodles. They basically eat this with anything. So we have two packs of that. And then we have this lady pink apples. I love to get this lady pink apples. And I can, for some reason, I find this mostly at um, farm foods. So it, this one has a very great sweet taste to it. It's not too sweet. But I just really like the taste of this one. So we got four packs of that over there. And then we got this small um, watermelon. The boys absolutely love watermelon. So we got uh, just one of that. And then we got um, it's a turkey breast crown. This is like the turkey breast. Uh, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was about 14 pounds thereabouts. So yeah, we got one pack of that. Uh, the, this is a seasonal item because, frankly speaking, I don't see turkey like this. Well, it, there was just a lot in the freezer. And I think it's because of the American Thanksgiving that is coming up soon. I think people are starting to buy that. But yeah, we got that when we saw it. And then this is a pack of jumbo shrimps. And this was 19 for this whole lot. This thing can take us up to two and a half to three months. So I like to get this big pack when I get it. This means that I'm not going to be buying this again next month or probably, yeah. So for like two months, we're, we're still good on shrimps. And then we got this um, chicken cuts. Um, there's two of them. This came in a jumbo um, jumbo pack. For the, there was a combo for this. There was a combo for this too. I think it was two for ten pounds. So we got two of that, and there's there's a good size in there. So this will be going to soups and stews and things like that. We'll also be combining them with this. Besides, I still have some fish and some pork from last month. So I'm combining that with this. This month is all about cutting down and you know just saving expenses. We also got um two packs of these um, pork sausages um, this is a great um, breakfast item to have I also like to give the boys this as well for their I also like to give the boys this for their um, alongside with their chips or you know noodles or things like that they love to have these sausages by the side and then we picked up some um, this is called shombo well, I call it shombo from Nigeria but yeah, this is some um, mild chili and this just gives your soup a very good body. So I got a um, small pack of that. I still have some from last month. So I just bought a little more. And then these tomatoes, this whole lot was about £7 something. I bought this at the market. Uh, we've reached the more the market, uh, farmer's market area. But this month we got at the covered market. So these tomatoes were about seven pounds something um and that was how much it weighed so that's the price for for that we got two bunches of the onion spring onions and that is also going to soups and stews and also for garnish uh we got this four um avocados and these are ready to eat they are ripe enough as is four of these was for one pound and then we got this really big um, bell peppers. I got about got five of these for about four pounds something. This was also weighed. And then I mixed them up just for variety. And then we got two um, broccoli heads. This, I, I know if you guys watch my videos, you know that we love broccoli in this house. So we got two broccoli heads to have um, on the side with our chips and rice and things like that this make a very good side dish and it's really healthy again so we got that as well and then we got um, loose onions also at the farmers market and this was about uh, five pounds something for the whole lot so yeah we're still going to need more onions than this that is the whole lot that we got for the month all right, so we are still going to be going over to Morrison's and Aldi to pick up the rest of the things. This month, you can tell that all the serenade has been cut out because, you know, this the way things are expensive these days, we just have to be very prudent 
and you know just buy what is necessary really when it comes to food items all right so i will show you the rest of the things that we get we come back from morrison's and aldi all right stay tuned for the rest of the vlog so you guys we went back to aldi to pick up the rest of the stuff we were able to get some diapers for my three-year-old a full bag of spinach um some yogurt for the boys also we picked them up some biscuits and these are just some things that they like to snack on we picked up two packs of the bourbon creams and we saw this um hibiscus drink this is zobo leaves we picked this up at um an african food store uh we also picked up some more biscuits from aldi a tin of powdered milk for my husband um some plantains from the african store and then a tube of yam yams are so expensive you guys and i don't know if it's because of darlington or where we find ourselves it's just very hard to find really good quality yam and anytime we find it like this we just tend to buy but that is it you guys for this vlog we also stopped by um at the african store um, close to us here to pick up some tomatoes and some pepper and uh, this was just going to be for a month plus and yeah you guys i love to bulk buy i don't know if i've mentioned it on this channel before but this is something that i do from time to time it saves costs and it just helps me spread out um my costs and cut down on excessive spending from time to time and i hope this video helped you out thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video mm -hmm.